We are taking R.D. Sharma Solutions, Class 11, Chapter 25, Parabola. Exercise is 25.1. This is question number 4. We have to find out the different uh, values when the equation of parabola is given. So, there are 9 parts, almost similar. So, one of them we are going to take uh, in detail. So the question here is, find the vertex, focus, axis, directrix and latest rectum. So let me tell you again, so that you just recall what we have learned in the theory. If this is a, this is a parabola, it can be in any orientation, any direction. Here this is focus a comma 0. Uh, this uh, vertex is 0 comma 0 minus a comma 0 on this there will be a directrix line which is parallel to the y axis vertex is 0 0 this is focus so from here to here the length will be latest rectum and uh, axis axis here here it is x axis and latest rectum equation also can be found out so now let us start with this equation y square equals 8x so we have to compare directly this with y square equals 4ax we have to compare it so 4a is equal to 8 so a will be 8 by 4 that is 8 by 4 that is uh, 2 so y square equals 4ax we know vertex is 0 0 here Focus will be a comma 0. What is a? 2. 2 comma 0. What is, the, what is the equation of the directrix? See, this is minus a 0. So, that is x equals minus a. So, x is equal to minus 2. This will be x plus 2 equals 0. Equation of the directrix. How, how about this one? This axis. x axis. So, y, y equals 0. So, y is 0. What is the latest rectum? Latest rectum length is 4a, 4 into 2, which is 8. So, in this way, we can find out other parameters as well. Now, this is 4x square plus y equals 0. First, we will try to put it in the form, which is the general form. So, x square term always we take on the left hand side. So, y square will be equal to 4ax or y x square will be equal to 4ay. So, we have equation 4x square plus y equals 0. So, what we will do? 4x square we can write it as minus y. x square can be written as minus y by 4. So, this minus 1 by 4 which is the coefficient of y here, we are going to compare it with x square equals 4ay, minus 4ay actually. So, minus 1 by 4 is actually equal to minus 4a if we compare it. y square equals 4ax is this one and y square equals minus 4 y square 5 4 minus 4ax is this one. x square 4ay is up and uh, x square minus 4ay is down like this facing downwards. What will be a? What will be a? Let us first compare it with uh, this minus 4a equals minus uh, 1. So, you get 4a equals a equals 1 by 16. Minus 1 by 4 equals minus 4a. So, this is the standard form. So, vertex is 0, 0. This is standard form. Vertex is 0, 0. What is the focus here? Since it is y axis, so 0 minus a. So, z focus will be 0 and what will be minus a? Minus 16 a is 16, so it will be minus 16. What is the equation of the directrix? Directrix will be at the same distance from the, uh, ax the axis, so it will be uh, the 0 a. So, y equals a, y equals 1 by 16. This is the equation of the directrix. What is the axis? It is y axis. So, x equals 0 is the equation of the axis. This is the axis of symmetry here. Length is uh, uh, latest rectum 4 a, 4 into 1 by 16. So, this will be 1 by 4, 1 by 4, right. So, 1 by 4 will be the length of the latest rectum. 
Now coming to uh, the third one, here the axis is shifted. It's not of the actual form we know. So y square minus 4y minus 3x plus 1 equals uh, 0. We'll write uh, this equation like this, y square minus 4y minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. We'll take y at one place, that is on the left hand side. Also, you can take all on the right hand side or you can, because we have to mitigate the things right now. So I'm taking x and constant term on the right hand side. Now when we take the perfect square, we will take the coefficient of y or x, whichever is uh, possible, here y. We'll divide it by 2 and then we'll add the square of this term and subtract this, two, this term. So this will be plus 4 minus 4. This will be x minus uh, y minus 2 whole square. And this extra minus 4, we can take it on the right hand side. It will be plus 4. So you have 3x minus uh, 3x minus, this will go here. So 3x plus 3 it will be. So y minus 2 whole square is 3. You can take common x plus 1. This is how you are going to write for each questions. So if you see, if you compare it with y square equals 4ax, so wherever y is there, you have to, we have to write y minus 2. Wherever x, capital X is there, you have to write x plus 1. So capital Y is y minus 2 and capital X is x plus 1, x plus 1. So wherever we are going to, uh, because the general equation we know, but here there is a change, this, there, there is a change in the axis. So 4a equals 3, let us compare this, you get, get, get a equals 3 by 4. This vertex is what? y is 0, x is 0. For the general equation here, y is 0, so y will be equal to 2. And x equals 0, that is x equals minus 1. x equals minus 1. So the vertex y is 0, x 0 here, y equals 2 and x equals minus 1. This is going to be the vertex. Minus 1, 2. Vertex is known now. Now, what will be the other one? What will be that one? So, this is uh, already x0, y0, you have to do. This is vertex minus 2, minus 1 and 2. Then, coming to the uh, focus. See, uh, y square equals uh, 4ax is the general term. You just have to remember. That y minus 2 will, when we, when it will be y, when, will, when, when y will be equal to 2, right? That is the scenario here. So, focus will be what? In general scenario, we have x equals a and y equals 0. This is the general scenario. And uh, what do you get uh, when x, x is x plus 1 and uh, y is 0, that is y minus 2 equals 0. So, the vertex we have got as minus 1, 2. In normal form, this would have this would have been zero. This a comma zero normal form. But here, capital X is not X. It's X plus one. Capital Y is not Y. It's Y minus two. So X plus one equals a. I'm trying to find out the focus. So a was three by four. You take one here, and this one, y equals two. So y equals two. So this is minus 1 by 4, 3 minus 4 by 4, minus 1 by 4. So x is minus 1 by 4 and y is 2. So this is the focus. Focus is minus 1 by 4 and 2. Okay. Now what is the equation of the directrix? Capital X, sorry, normal, I'm not taking capital X, x equals minus n in the normal terms. But here, it's not x equals minus a, it's capital X equals minus a, right? It's a parallel to y axis, so it will be only the x equals minus a term. So, x capital X, that is x small x plus 1 equals minus 3 by 4. You can take minus 3 by 4 on the left hand side. So, it will be x plus 1 plus 3 by 4, which is 1 plus 3 by 4 is 4 plus 3 by 7, that is, that is 7 by 4. So, you can write it as equation as x plus 7 by 4, or you can write it as x equals minus 7 by 4 also. So, x, x is also we know, x is what? y equals 0, we can clearly see here. y equals 0, but y is not 0, y is actually y minus 2. So, you put y minus 2 equals 0, not y equals 0. Capital Y is y minus 2 equals 0. So, y equals 2 is the axis. It is the actual axis. Okay. Now, 
length of the latus rectum for a there will be no uh, difference here a already you know so 4 into 3 by 4 that is uh, 3 4 raised 3 so this is how we have to do it when this sh the shifting is there this also you can do you have to make the perfect square i'll just give you an idea so y, y, y term you take on the left hand side, x you take on the right hand side, make the perfect square, y as perfect square, whatever extra term is there, add it to the x term on the right hand side. And always take, always try to make the coefficient of x as 1. So you will take minus 4 extra, means common. So this is the equation, y square equals minus 4 into x minus 1. So y square equals minus 4ax form. Capital Y is y minus 2, capital X is x minus 1. So whenever you are dealing, dealing with Y, you have to deal with capital Y. Whenever you are going to deal with X, you are going to deal with capital X, not small x, small y. So Y square equals minus 4X. You compare this minus 4 with minus 4A, you are going to get A as 1. Vertex is X equals 0, Y equals 0. So Y square equals minus 4X. Y square minus 4X is on the uh, facing or having the face on the west side north of the east west west side so you have minus a zero this would have been normal form a zero so what do we do vertex the vertex is zero zero it's it's only you have to put y minus two equals zero and x minus one equals zero so you get y equals two and x equals one this is vertex because it's zero zero but when you are interested in a focus focus is x equals minus a and y equals 0 minus a 0. So x minus 1 you have to put as minus 1 not capital X because capital X is x is actually x minus 1 only. x minus 1 equals minus 1 and y which is which is actually your y minus 2 this is equal to 0. So x minus 1 equals minus 1 that is x equals 0 y minus 2 equals 0 that is y equals 2. So your focus is small x equals 0 and small y equals 2. Now what is the equation of the directrix? Capital X is A. So X minus 1 is actually 1. A is 1. So X equals 2. What is the axis of symmetry? It's X axis. So Y equals 0. But Y is not Y. It's Y minus 2. So you have to put Y minus 2 equals 0. So Y equals to 2. Y equal 2 is the axis. Length will remain as 4A. 4 into A. 4 into 1. So this also you will be able to do this. Same thing. Okay same uh, scenario you, you are going to follow here here also same thing y square 8y you take on the left hand side make a perfect square y square equals 4x form and whenever you have x and y just put x as x plus 2 y as y minus 4 similarly here also there's only one thing you have to understand that you cannot have 4 here you have to put this 4 or divide both sides by 4 so minus 7 by 4, this is quite simple because it's already given in the form, y square equals 4ax form. So this is y equals minus 4ax form. So you can compare this minus 4a as minus 7 by 4, x capital X is y minus, uh, capital X is x minus 3, capital Y is y minus 1. This also you can do, right? Just take 4y on the left hand side, make a perfect square, everything on the right hand side and make the coefficient of x as 1. Now capital Y is Y plus 2, capital X is X minus 1 and all the things, all the parameters you can find out as we explained earlier. Same thing here, you can do this, right? So this is X square equals uh, minus 4 AY form. So this I hope you will be able to do because we have done all these questions earlier. This is question number 5. Here for the parabola y is square 4 px. y is square 4 px. Find the extremities of a double ordinate of length 8p. 8p. Prove that the lines from the vertex to its extremities are at right angles. Are at right angles. So let me explain you this first. See, if uh, it's, it would have been normal y square equals 4ax. So, there is no change. A is actually only replaced by P. So, just remember that A is P. Now, there is no change at all. So, y square equals 4ax, y square 4px, only P is replaced by A in the question. 
So whenever we do A, we'll do P here. Now, the extremities of double ordinate 8P, what does it mean? So whenever we make a parabola, and since the extremities of double ordinate of length 8P, so this length, this is 8P. So 4P will be above, 4P will be below. You remember, you remember the latest rectum? It was lambda above, lambda below, that is 2A above, 2A below. So this is the point and this is the point on this parabola. These points you have to find out. You are going to find out these points. From here to here, it can be any, any length. Ultimately, we, have, we will find this length. So if this, this P point is say X, Y, X is abscissa Y is ordinate. So we are interested in ordinate because the question is saying double ordinate. Double ordinate. Okay. So we know that from here to here it is 4P. Actually, it's a Y axis. It's a Y distance. Anything which is from X, it's a Y distance. So this is X1. Just, remember, just assume it to be X1. We are going to find out that X1. But Y coordinate is clear. It's 4P. It's X1, 4P is the, the coordinate of P. How about the coordinate of Q? It's just negative 4P. X1 will remain same. And Y is on the negative Y axis. So it will be minus 4P. So you have X1, 4P, X1, minus 4P. So 4P minus 4P is the double ordinate. So the question is, first part is done. Second thing is, prove that the line from the vertex to its extremities are at right, right angles. If I join these two lines, that is PO and QO, O may be the origin. These, the angle in between them is a right angle. This is 0, 0. Okay. So this is 0, 0 we know, its origin. X1, 4P we found out. X1, comma minus 4P we have found out. So let us find out the slope of PA. Find out the slope of uh, QA. Multiply them. If it comes as minus 1, m1, m2 minus 1, we will say that the angle is 90 degree. So we have to find x, x1. As I said, we will be finding the x1. The equation of parabola is y square equals 4px. y square equals 4px. So y, y is 4p. When y, y is 4p, what will be x? 4p, 4p cancel. x will be 4p. So x1, which we were denoting, you can replace it by 4p. So 4p comma 4p and 4p comma minus 4p. This is 4p comma minus 4p. So you have, now let us find out the slope of PA. y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Right? AP or PA. So 4p minus 0 by 4p minus 0, it will be 1. Okay? How about slope of uh, this QA of minus 4p minus 0 divided by 4p minus 0? So it will be minus 1. This gets cancelled, it will be minus 1. So m1, m2, slope of 1 and slope of 2 multiply, it is minus 1. m1, m2, m2 is coming as minus 1. So when it is minus 1, that means these two lines are actually perpendicular. The angle between them is 90 degree. Okay. So this is all about this exercise. We are going to take the next question in the next discussion. Till then, thank you so much and take care of yourself.